Good morning. This presentation concerns uh, the Catalan vaults, uh, an ancient construction technique that is becoming uh, once more popular. Catalan vaults uh, are constructed without center, and therefore the first layer has to be made uh, with the thin tiles uh, whose weight is less than one kilogram. We can observe here in the picture a Catalan vault made in Barcelona and the first layer is made with thin tiles but also the second and the third layer are made with the same uh, tile. The photo is from Wikipedia. An expansive mortar, typically containing some form of plaster, allows for a quick setting and a sort of pre-stress of the first layer of the vault. We can observe in the picture that the mortar is thick enough to keep in place the tile. The first layer has also the function of a formwork for the rest of the vault. We can see in this old picture a mason constructing a traditional Catalan vault. Two challenges for the construction of vault using the Catalan technique are to avoid errors in placing the tile and to construct the vault with the correct shape. Therefore, the mesons must be experienced and use a system to guide them in the construction of the vault with the right shape. In this uh, uh, sketch, we can see some typical errors in placing the tiles. While in this uh, picture, we can observe some uh, thin wood element used to guide the masons in the construction of the vault with the right shape. In recent years, Catalan vaults are becoming popular again. Many architects uh, However, indicate as Catalan vaults, whatever type of vault, without rendering. The innovation in Catalan vaults are principally the use of a mesh between the second and the third layer of tiles, and the use of thicker tiles for the third layer. In this picture, we can see a Catalan vault being constructed with the uh, guide system made of uh, uh, thin uh, plywood, the first layer of uh, tiles being uh, uh, light, and the second uh, layer, which is crossed uh, with respect to the first, uh, being light. Here, in this sketch, we see uh, the three layers, so the first layer, the second layer, a grid, and uh, the third layer. Catalan vaults do not differ from the other form resistant structure. They are compressed structures and can be modeled using a single homogeneous material or a multi-layer approach. Both methods yield interesting results, but they need different input data, all collected experimentally. Here we can see uh, the sketches of the test that has been run to characterize the behavior of the Catalan vaults. This picture shows the uh, test made in laboratory. In this experimental campaign, two types of vaults were tested. The first uh, vault were made with clinker bricks, the layer were not crossed, a steel mesh one millimeter thick was inserted between the second and the third uh, layer, an M15 mortar was used to construct the specimen and the specimen were 145 millimeter thick. The second vault was constructed with terracotta tiles, hollows, the layer were crossed, a GFRP mesh was inserted between the second and the third layer, 
and uh, two different uh, uh, mortars, both developed by the Mason, were used to construct the specimen. The specimen were 110 millimeter thick. The specimen of uh, both uh, vault types uh, were tested under diagonal compression, compression and flexion. In this slide, we can see an example of the data collected. Three specimens were tested under compression and the stress strain diagram were collected. In this slide, we can observe some of the most meaningful results obtained during the testing campaign. In particular, we can observe that the uh, terracotta hollow tiles vault specimen uh, reported a compressive strength of 8.9 megapascal, which is much lower than the Krinker brick vault specimen, for which a compressive strength of uh, 36.8 megapascal was obtained. This uh, uh, large difference can be easily explained by the uh, greater strength of the clinker bricks and of the mortar used to uh, construct this type of vaults. For the flexural uh, strength, we can observe that the uh, uh, terracotta hollow tile vault specimen obtained a, a force of 39 kilo at failure, while the Krinker brick vault specimen had a, a force of 46 kilo newton at failure. But the uh, deflection at the center was of 55 millimeter for the ter terracotta olive tile vault specimen while was 9 millimeter for the clinker brick vault specimens. This large difference is easily explained by the difference in the grid that has been inserted between the uh, second and third layer of the vaults. In the clinker brick vault specimen was a steel grid one millimeter thick. In the terracotta hollow tile vault specimen was a GFRP uh, grid. FAM analysis and test result showed good agreement. Models on full scale structure demonstrated that both type of vaults could be used satisfactorily. The research underway in this moment focuses in substituting the fire brick with raw excavation earth brick. In this picture, we can see different type of uh, raw excavation earth bricks uh, made with different uh, uh, stabilizations. The thick thinner uh, tiles are used to build the first and the second layer, while the thicker uh, tile is used to build the third layer. In these two pictures, we see a specimen of a two by four meter raw excavation earth bricks vault that is going to be tested in the next few days. Concluding, it's possible to say that Catalan vaults are becoming popular again and they profit of the new mortars, bricks and technology available today. Catalan vaults are constructed without center. This can be done only if the tile weight is reduced, typically less than one kilogram. 
The clinker bricks used to build the vault for the NAUS project are too heavy to use the Catalan techniques. Furthermore, the layer are not crossed. Therefore, the vaults made with clinker bricks cannot be classified as Catalan and require the construction of a classical centering system. FAM models show the adequacy of both vault system for the project because the strength required was lower than 6 megapascal.